Good day one, good day all. It's Grazy, the Chief Instructor of Northern Limbs, Bushcraft and Survival, and I hope everyone's well today. Thank you very much for coming back to the channel. If it's your first time, welcome. You always are. Keep on talking about good mental health, and let's see what we've got today. So, survival. What is survival to you? Now, everyone's got their own version of it, uh, and I'm not going to stand here and tell you exactly what it is, because my version will be completely different to my other instructor's version, and even yours. So, but one of the things that um, we do um, all have in common is survival is surviving. Now, we've got bits of kit, we've got tools, we've got uh, man-made materials, we've got uh, natural materials as well. But the one thing that we have not really covered on this channel is um, something like a survival tin and the items. Now, these here, this is just a standard generic way I saw. Now, some of the, these are absolutely garbage, but some of them are all right. But one thing I did do while I was teaching some British soldiers from a medical regiment recently was they've got the survival tins, but they've not really used them. And half the stuff in them, I didn't really know it, and, and this was one of them. So this one's got two ring pulls on it. And what I did see was people trying to put the fingers in. So I went through a few methods of the fact that they just didn't know. So I'm going to show you what they are. So first thing that you're always going to need uh, to do this is one of the methods is the toggle pull. Okay, you'll need two toggles. I always go sort of half an inch either side on both of them. It doesn't really matter as long as the, you know, you've got a good hand. And then you'll need your, your saw. Now these ring pulls here that are in them, some don't come with these, some come with just you know, the wire loops, but again this is where they all go to. And all we're simply going to do is just put the ring pull about halfway and then we're going to grasp it and then it's going to come out your middle fingers. And then just repeat on the same side, or other side should I say. Okay, so that's what we should look like on the inside and that's what it looks like on the outside. So what I've done here is I've just got myself a green stick, probably about length of a bit of my arm, and then I'm going to then size up the wire, and then I'm going to put it near the back and then measure it out. So this is where I'm going to stop, put my notch here, and then I'll then put a notch on the other end as well. So for this I've got the mark three out of retirement, I'm just going to make myself some notches. So what I've done is I've just put me notch here and I've put the loop into it and then I'm going to then follow all the way down and I'm going to bend the green string, or the green stick sorry, just gently so I don't snap this and then I'm then going to put it just there. So I've now made is an improvised bow saw, so let's see how this one works out. The way I saw, something that's always overlooked in my opinion, um, I prefer not to use them unless I really have to, just purely because they are flimsy, uh, you can't really put that too much pressure on it and if you put too much pressure they'll have a tendency of snapping at the, at the joints just here, but if the only thing you've got is a survival tin and this is in it and you need a cutting tool then it's the only thing that you've got. So there's two different methods that you can use to ensure that you can get what you need. So, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.